Good morning everyone and welcome back to Gurung Pinoy. Make sure that you hit like, you subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow our Facebook page, and watch our videos from start until the end. Meron lamang pong tatlong pagkakaiba ang ating plant cell. Meron pong tatlong structures na makikita natin sa plant cell na wala sa animal cell. Ang una-una po itong vacuole. Ang tawag po sa ating vacuole sa plant cell would be central vacuole. Bakit po central vacuole? Dahil nakikita po siya sa gitna ng ating cell. Napakalaki po ng central vacuole ng ating plant cell. Dahil napaka-importante po niya sa plant cell dahil yung function po niya in a plant cell is the storage of water. We all know know that water is very important for our plants. Pag meron po kayong na-view, for example, na cell, at hindi nyo alam kung ano ito, pero hindi nyo makita yung nucleus sa gitna ng cell, ang nakikita nyo ay yung vacuole sa gitna ng cell, or you'd call that the central vacuole, then you would conclude that that type of cell is a plant cell. Okay? Dahil yung plant cells po, ang klase ng mga cells na merong malalaking vacuoles, dahil nga, sa storage ng water na kailangan ng ating plants. Now, another thing that you can find in your plant cell, which is not found in your animal cell, is the chloroplast. Your chloroplast is very important because this is where you find the chlorophyll. Alam po natin yung chlorophyll is the green pigment which harnesses or which gathers sunlight which is needed for the process of photosynthesis. Pag sinabi mong photosynthesis, it is the process through which plants make their own food. Okay, so yung chloroplast po natin, inside the chloroplast, you can find the chlorophyll. Ang chlorophyll po ay yung green coloring or green pigment that would harness or that would gather the sunlight that is needed for the process of photosynthesis. And another thing that we cannot find in an animal cell but which we find in a plant cell is the cell wall, okay? So, sa ating animal cell a while ago, meron po tayong cell membrane. Sinabi ko po yung cell membrane is like the gate of the cell. So, it will control the entry and exit of materials to the cell. Now, in the case of your plant, meron po siyang secondary na boundary. And you'd call that the cell wall, okay? So, cell wall po, this is made up of cellulose. So, cellulose pong isang protein na nagpo-form ng structure which we call the cell wall. Okay, now essentially, most of them are pareho lang naman po. So may microtubule siya, microfilament, meron siyang nucleus, meron siyang nucleolus inside, my rough ER, my smooth ER, peroxisomes, my lysosome, meron din siyang mitochondria. Okay, and of course, meron din siyang Golgi, meron din siyang secretory vesicles. So yung mga naiba lamang po na structures would be tatlo, the central vacuole, chloroplast, and the cell wall, okay? Now, that ends our discussion on the different parts of the cell and also the differences between the animal and the plant cells. As I have mentioned, this topic is very important in taking the lab. For you to get the free material, I'd like you to do the following. Go back to the first video of this playlist and comment the two types of cells. For the second video, write the name of the organelle that acts as the brain of the cell. Lastly, like this video. Sa muli, ito po ang inyong Gurong Pinoy na nagsasabing malit man na butil ng mga kaalaman ang dulo nito ay malaking kaginawaan. Maraming salamat po.